Alright, so let's go ahead and import the last things we need to do. So let's go to the tools menu, uh, container. We'll go ahead and import in the, uh, the love seat. It's pretty small, it's right over there. You can see it right here. I'm not going to scale it up yet, however. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and import the, uh, the sofa next. Because they're both, they were both done based on the same scene, same geometry, they're both the same exact size. So I wanted to import them together so I can scale them together at the same time. Uh, that way they, they scale up at the exact same size. In terms of the actual size that they should be, um, that's really up to you. You're going to have to eyeball this and try to get it to, uh, to look right. A little bit hard to see right there where the floor is. Actually, I know the floor is located at zero on the grid, so I know it's down there. And uh, I think that size is pretty good for the for furniture. Remember, if you decide to scale any of this stuff, make sure you scale it together. It's actually a little bit big. Yeah, actually, that's that's way too big. So I'm going to scale it back down. Try to keep an eye on this. And in terms of size, I'm going to end up placing my uh, sofa somewhere around here. So let me actually scale it down a little bit more. I'll try to make sure I don't scale it down too much. Actually, in relation to the scene, this looks like it's pretty good. Let me move this up just a little bit, like maybe, I don't know, right there is pretty good. I'm going to take the love seat here, whatever you want to call it. Rotate this guy something like this. And place it maybe right here. Maybe rotate a little bit more like this. If you want to, you can place it like this. That's a little bit too, I don't know, symmetrical for my taste. I like to turn it a little bit like that. Looks pretty good. Place it close to the window right there. This one's obviously going to be where the TV is. This, uh, this table over here is fine where it is. Actually, I might want to move it directly behind this uh, sofa here. I'm going to select this stuff. On top of the table there. These uh, picture frames and stuff, I'm going to move that. So I'll select all the picture frames. Move to about here. I'll eyeball it. Be perfectly fine. Uh, picture frames look good. Sofa, I'm happy with where the sofa is located. There's the TV. Looks looking pretty good. I'm gonna take this coffee table, place it in front of the sofa right there. That's where it's supposed to go. Coffee table looks uh, maybe might be a little bit too small. So coffee tables are pretty small. I'm going to say I'm happy with it. I'm not going to mess around with it too much. But uh, I will adjust the pivot point. And the Z, I'll place it at the maximum at the bottom there. That way whenever I want I can scale this up or down. I think I'll scale it up a little bit like that. I think I'm going to take this table here and I'm going to scale that up too. So I'm going to take Place the pivot point at the minimum Z. And scale that up too. Maybe not too much. Just a bit. Move it up against the wall. All these guys have to get uh, placed. Repositioned. 
So maybe something like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now this little table over here, I'm going to place one next to our uh, sofa here. I think that's where we should go. And I'm going to place the Z pivot, the pivot and the Z right there. Scale this up a little bit like so. That looks pretty good. Not too bad. I'm going to take the uh, table lamp here. I'm going to place the table lamp over here on top of this little table here. Place it right on top. Something like that looks, uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to make a clone of it. That didn't work out too well. What I'm going to do is um, what I'm going to do here. Let me go and hit H on the keyboard to open up a container. No, editor, edit that video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the container here and I'm going to select edit in place. And by doing that, I can then hold shift and you know clone this whole thing over. And I'm just going to put one of these lamps here on this table. It's kind of in the way of the picture that's on the wall. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. What I'm going to do is place this on the table. Right about there's pretty good. Okay. Take these vases here. I'm just going to move this up back like that. And at this point, really, you're just basically uh, organizing this and setting this up however you like. Really nothing technical about this. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video so you can at least see me uh, decorating the scene here. But since I'm going to be a little while moving stuff around, scaling it, placing it all over the place and all that stuff, I'm going to uh, fast forward the video here just to move a little bit faster.
Okay, last but not least, I'm going to import the rug. Okay, there it is. I'm going to go into the top view here so I can position it easier. And I'm going to place it so that and this can actually be a pretty big rug. But I don't think I'll be doing that. I think I'll be placing it here so that it's um, kind of right there where the coffee table is. And I'll scale it down. That looks pretty good. Try on Nerbs toggle. And you can see that it does have the same problem as the vases and the other stuff that I brought in, um, which is obviously not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the geometry here, create a new object out of it, and take the original and delete it. Take the new object, which is uh, which works out much better. Reposition that. Looks pretty good. Turn on Nerbs toggle. There we go. It works. Bring that out. See what we have. Right here, it looks like I got a little bit of a problem that I didn't notice before. Let's go to see-through mode here. I'm going to take this uh, vertex that's right there. I'm going to move that out. Move that up a little bit. I'm not going to fiddle around with it too much. Just going to fix what needs to be fixed and be done with it. Alright, if you see any other areas that need fixing, go ahead and jump in there and fix it. Looks, uh, looks pretty decent to me. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So we've got everything in our scene here. You can see we've got our scene populated with plenty of detail, lots of assets. Uh, you've got a good idea of how to create these assets. So if you wanted to go ahead and create more assets or different types of assets, for example, different types of floor lamps, different types of sofas, chairs, and tables, and TVs and stuff, you've got the foundation, you've got the techniques to go ahead and get that done. Now, uh, I didn't, I'm, I'm including a now I am including a little bonus video. We're going to go ahead and render this out nice. We're going to do some more ambient occlusion rendering just like in previous volume. Um, because our scene is so populated now with so much more dense detail. Uh, it should look pretty interesting. So I'll see you in the next video.